Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to be sharing an ancient breath practice that helps you relieve stress and anxiety in a couple of minutes. Hi, my name is Deb, and welcome to Women Reinventing Midlife TV, where we aim to inspire women over 50 to thrive in a meaningful life that you deeply desire and deserve. We hear a lot of talk about breath work and it's made to sound that it's something modern and new and unique when in fact breath work is a very ancient practice. It's thousands of years old and in yoga we call it pranayama. With pranayama it, help, it can help us relieve stress, it can help us relieve anxiety and it helps us relax and so stress is something that we do want to reduce and especially stress and anxiety in this phase of life because if we have too much stress, it affects our overall health and well-being negatively and it can also affect how we age and whether we age well or not. So relieving stress and anxiety and being able to relax is something that pranayama can help us do. It can also help us lower our blood pressure it can help lower our heart rate. And the particular practice that I'm going to share with you today also balances the right and the left side of the brain. So what does that mean? When we balance the right and left side of the brain, it balances our masculine and feminine energy. And one of the reasons we get stressed or feel anxious is because those masculine and feminine energies are out of balance. So when we practice this particular breath, it helps bring those two energies back into balance. And this is one of the reasons it helps us relieve stress and anxiety. So this particular practice is called Nadi Shodhana in yoga. It's also known as sun moon breath and also known as alternate nostril breathing. So what does that mean? So we are going to alternately breathe between one nostril and the other nostril. And we use a hand movement to help us do that. But before we begin that, let's just take some nice cleansing breaths to get us ready to go into that kind of breath. So take a beautiful deep breath in through your nostrils. And a breath through the mouth. And another breath in through the nostrils. And a breath through the mouth. And one more time. Deep breath in through the nostrils. And a breath through the mouth. And you might like to close your eyes for a moment just to focus on your breath. So we're going to focus by doing some abdominal breath before we start. So on the inhale, the gentle expansion of your abdomen. And on the exhale, the gentle pulling in of the abdomen. So it's a very conscious breath. It's a very intentional breath. We want to get our lungs used to accepting more oxygen because generally, especially when we're stressed out, we breathe from the upper half of our lungs. So this is training us how to get out of that pattern. And then on your next inhale, expanding your breath so that you're going to be filling your whole lung. So on your inhale, filling your lower, then your middle, then your upper lungs. And on your exhale, releasing from the upper, the middle, the lower lungs. As you breathe in, expanding your abdomen, your rib cage, your chest. As you breathe out, releasing and softening through the chest, softening through the rib cage, and pulling the abdomen in. So you're pulling the navel in to the base of the spine. So what we're doing here is we're filling the lungs to maximum capacity. And this is the breath that we will use while we're doing Nadi Shodhana too. So we're gonna be filling the lungs to maximum capacity. 
So what is the hand movement? So the hand movement, you have two ways of doing this. We're going to be opening and closing the two different nostrils. So you can place your two fingers here in your, around your third eye, which is in between your eyebrows just above, and you use your thumb and these two fingers to open and close the nostrils. Or you can place your fingers like this. This is a, my least favorite, but this is another way that you can do it. And again, you use the thumb and those last two fingers on your hand to open and close your nostrils. I'm gonna guide you through this. So on your next exhale, releasing all the air from your lungs, And on, before you inhale, place your thumb, place your thumb on your right nostril and inhale through the left. Filling your lungs to their maximum. And before you exhale, change the nostrils. So place your fingers over your left nostril and release your right and breathe out through the right nostril. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left and breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left and breathe out through the right. And your breath is slow and even flowing. You're filling your lungs to their maximum, remember. Breathe in through the right. Close the right and breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left and breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Breathe out left. Breathe in through left. Breathe out through right. Breathe in through right. Breathe out through left. And release your hands down. You can continue with your alternate nostril breathing for as long as you like. I've done it for 10 minutes. I've done it for 15 minutes. I've also done it for two minutes. I've also done it for five minutes. The longer you do it, of course, the more balance you're going to be able to create and the more effect you're going to have over your stress building patterns or your anxiety patterns. It's a beautiful practice. It's something you can do at home. It's something you can do at work. It's something you could do while you're sitting in the park and no one looks strangely at you if you do it outside. I've noticed that before. So it's something that you can do for as long or short a time as you like. What I have learned in my own practice is that it greatly, greatly reduces stress and it also gets me very ready for meditation because I've balanced the right and left side of my brain. So I trust that helps. Give it a go. I know it works for me. I know it's worked for many other people. And if you found this content helpful, remember to like the video, share it and subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out. Lots of love to you and I'll look forward to connecting with you next time. Bye-bye.